What's going up everybody, Yank.com here. Today I'm bringing you some more FIFA 13 Ultimate Team Road to Division 1. Uh, we're back currently in Division 3 at the minute, so just get cut straight into this. This is against FC Alex, he has himself an all-German team. Uh, going into this game was very kind of back and forth the first half. I, pretty, I thought this game was going to pretty much end in nil-nil, going from the way the first half hour went on it. But uh, sure enough, just heading into half time, uh, a bit of messing about outside my own six-yard box. The ball falls to uh, Renato Augusto and he just... Blast it across the face of my keeper, and I'm pretty much I get caught again. Like I, I immediately think straight away that I can just go on the count on the attack and try and pull one back before half time. I get caught out shitty. The ball in the centre of the park it runs out to Mandzukic. Uh, nobody, nobody trying to put in a challenge. There's a big gap in the middle of the field. Eventually falls to Dede who gives out to Kaka, but he just takes a bad touch and it falls to Javi Martinez. And from about 30 yards out, he just stitches that in the top corner. That is a ridiculous finish for a centre defensive mid. But uh, starting into the second half, I kind of have to come out of nowhere here with this. I have to pull it out of somewhere. First game of the league as well, so I'll have to kind of get something on the table. I get a, I get a pretty easily corner out of nothing. <coughs> uh, falls to Dede, heads it into the ground and bops over the keeper. Um, just as well I got headed into the ground because with the way the keeper was diving, he probably would have caught that one. But uh, it was at 2-1, I'm kind of thinking, you know, I've, I've plenty of time now to pull this back. I have to get at least a draw for myself and... Uh, that's kind of what happens. He comes from the from the off straight away. He kind of puts an attack on. It gets cut out just in front of my own six yard box. It falls out to Robinho here. Sees the run from Pato. Like Ben Pato makes a bit of room, pulls it out. I'm thinking that's Hulk in front of you, but it ends up being Thiago Silva. Cuts inside, puts it across the keeper. That is an insane finish for a centre back. Even if it is Thiago Silva, he was the one who cut out the initial attack and to actually see him run up the whole way up the other end of the pitch to finish it off. That was something you don't see every day. Uh, again, coming in, this is in about the 70th minute now at this stage. Marcelo picks it up to Kaka, who feeds it out to Neymar out in the wing. Sees Robinho make a bit of room for himself. He takes on a very half-hour challenge from the keeper. The sweaty pass across the goal, and Pato just slots it in. So for me, 2-0 down at half-time, I managed in this in the space of 10 minutes to basically turn it around to lead 3-2. Uh, that's pretty much how this game finished on this one. There was a, a lot of back and forth. Kind of, the ball just hung up in midfield a lot of it for the last 20 minutes and that, but... Uh, I need to get away with a 3-2 win there, I kind of pull it out of nowhere, but into the second game, uh, I turned off the HTPVR to start this game, and I missed the first 20 minutes of it, but uh, 42 minutes on the clock, a sweaty goal again, across the face of goal, and the power up makes it 1-0 to me, uh, I remember this guy had himself, a, it was a half, half Brazilian, half English Premier League team, David Luiz was absolutely ridiculous in this game, he's just massively overpowered. Uh, that was to make it 2-0. I missed the first goal when I, like I said, when I turned off the HCPVR. But uh, just coming into half time here now, I'm thinking, trying to just set it up just to get in at half time. It doesn't work that way with a 2-0 lead. Uh, I gifted to Isco. He basically just plants it across the keeper. Uh, after this game, I dropped my keeper. I got that pissed off with him after. Well, I just couldn't couldn't look at him anymore, simply. But, but uh, again, about 70 minutes gone into the game. I'm trying to wind down the clock at this stage because he was attacking me from the off. And... Uh, Again, Xavi Alonso, nobody marks him on the edge of the box. He just blasted across the face of the goal. Keeper with a half hour's dive as well. For, for a keeper with 91 diving, Diego Alves is a very, very poor diver. I'll, I'll give you that much. He's not worth the money. He's, he's worth 10 grand. He's just not worth it. I've dropped him after this game. But uh, from the first two games, I got a, a win and a draw. I was kind of happy with myself with that. Um, into our third game, we're playing <coughs> Rayar Lorky. He's got himself an all Spanish team on this again. Uh, I had to kind of bounce back with a win on this one because I was. I was a bit annoyed that I dropped two points in the last game and about five or six minutes into the game it, he kind of just gives me the ball and it, just inside his own half and not on, I can't really see anything coming from it but I'd see Robinho make a run just at the right time he feeds it out inside the edge of the penalty box he just places it across the keeper for an early goal I was kind of lucky to get away with it on that one because I, I had been kind of poking and prodding at him and nothing had happened and I thought this I thought that was actually going to go wide at first but I got lucky enough I hit the back of the net. Uh, again, about half, the half hour mark. Robinho gets it on the halfway line. Quick little feed to Cat Guy. Sees Pato make the run. Pato gets past Puglio too easy. For once, Puglio's pace <laughs> is actually realistic. And uh, he feeds it with a sweaty ball across the goal to Cat Guy to make it 2-0. But uh, one thing about last year that annoyed me was uh, Puglio's pace. He was like a 40 pace, but he, he could beat like Cristiano Ronaldo to a ball and stuff like that. But uh, just going in, just before half time again, we got the ball here at the halfway line. Robinho feeds it out to Pato, sees Neymar making the run. Neymar gets cut out, falls back to Kaka, just a little nice little dribbly move around him, uh, beats two players and absolutely laces it in the top hand corner. And that keeper did not stand a chance. But uh, 
just kind of shrugs off one, two challenges, and then hits it in. Lovely little goal. Uh, and again, we kind of caught this guy again just before halftime. He probably thought the onslaught was over. Feed it to Robinho. I see the sweaty option. I decided to go and place it around the keeper. 3 and I might as well try and do that. And I got lucky with that. And uh, on that note, he kind of has said enough was enough, and he left the game after this. So Nice little 4-0 win. Not even half the game played. So that was another three points in the bag for me. Uh, into the next game, I, I missed the start of this one. This is against the Taylor Gang. This guy has himself an all Brazilian team, and not only that, but everyone in it is like f at least a four star skiller. And he ripped me asunder for most of this game. Um, I see Wagner Love here just picks it off, simply put, in past the keeper. Uh, this was with Arthur Moraes. I think this was his first game in at this stage, so I was kind of. <laughs> I'd know where to turn if, if this didn't work out for him, but uh, luckily enough, it did. He pulled off some great saves for me during the game. But uh, again, we're looking at just 15 minutes gone on the clock. Ronaldinho gets it. He was doing skill moves with this guy all day long. Wagner Love again, he just ran straight through my defence. Nobody even tried to pick him up. And a little cheeky chip over the keeper. And uh, as you can see, he does more backflips than a, a Russian gymnast there. But uh, just before half time, I get a bit of luck here. Kaka. Unmarked at the back post. He, he doesn't even jump for the header. He actually just stands there and lets him hit him in the head. But a 2-1 now at this stage. I had to pull it back to 2-1 at half time coming in. And uh, from the second half, it was just an, an all onslaught, basically. This guy was just trying to do skill moves left, right and centre. And that wasn't going to happen. I wasn't going to let him do that. Uh, again, we pull it back level with another sweaty goal to Robinho. These sweaty goals seem to be a trademark of mine now at this stage. They're all I ever score half the time. But... Uh, I had to put I had to pull that back because he was starting to get a bit cocky and he was starting to kind of pass it around at the back. So just to well make it two or two two, just to kind of push him out. Again, just pretty much from the off here on this one, we have Hulk out on the wing. Uh, it gets a lot of space, feeds it out the paddle, sees Kaka, makes a little move inside, finds himself a yard of space and gets a shot away to make it three two. So it was a nice little turnaround from being two 0 down to now being three two up. And uh, there was this was pretty much how the game ended. I, I kind of started playing the way he was playing, basically just passing it around my back four and stuff like that to annoy him. So I got away with a 3-2 win out of that one. Uh, feeding on into uh, another game. This was against uh, Diablo or Dablo or something like that. He had a... This was an all-German team. He had some pretty good players on this team. But uh, again, we got a bit of luck here. We're feeding out to Kaka from the rebound. He just places it right at the top corner. And uh, the keeper didn't stand a chance with that one. Uh, for, since bringing in Kaka, he's scoring a lot of them sort of goals. It's... Um, it, it's something Hernandez used to be able to do as well, but he's a lot more accurate than Hernandez. And he, for like four and a half grand, he'll get a four four two formation Kaka, and he's well worth it. But uh, again, pretty much from going one nil up on this, he uh, he gets the ball <laughs> when he gets tip off, and he basically just runs straight at me with, with Rice, and then back out to Arnav. I can't even pronounce his name. I'm going to attempt to, but uh, he cuts inside and he just stitches it, stitches it across the face of the goal to make it one all. That's pretty much how the game ended for most of it, and. Uh, he got very lucky here with one stage with a bad kick out for me. He fell to Gorza and I managed to cut it out. But uh, I got a quick little counter attack going with, from Diego to Kaka. I'm looking at Hulk up at the top side. I feed him out through and I'm looking for someone now to make a run for me. But it's not really happening. So I could just basically lay it off the Pato. Again, Pato finds it with Diego. Diego to Kaka. And you know what's going to happen when he gets into that situation. He just, every time he's going to stitch it in that corner of the net. Like I said, for four and a half grand, you will not get a better person to just find a net every time from that sort of an area. Uh, we're just coming towards the end of the game now and I kind of went ultra defensive on this because he was trying to hit me on the counter attack a lot and it did come back to bite me in the arse. For some reason Gortz had just ran through two players like they were just, they weren't even there. It was just basically like they were ghosts. And just, it was kind of a nine out of true away two points in that game. I, I really should have seen it out for the win but uh, yeah, this is the thing about Division 3. A lot, there's a lot of good teams and a lot of players that are hurting this and like I said, showed it there, like that was two points that could have got me promoted there at that stage but uh, we keep going into another game. This is, against Evo 11 uh, this, again I, <laughs> for some reason HTPVR didn't pick up the first half it was one all or something like that at half time but uh, just coming into the second half there was only like 20 minutes left in the game I pretty much needed this win to stay have a proper chance of actually getting out of the league or to win this up it fell to Kaka again that sort of an area he just absolutely buries it for me to make it 2-1 uh, you just see it here <laughs> like he's, he's unmarked and he just gets it one touch bang simple as keeper hadn't stood a chance uh, pretty much 10 minutes later then we have Neymar breaking out on the wing David, David Luiz tried to come out to me he pulled him out of position I have that sweaty option I go to feed it across Pato doesn't come to it Kaka all day long I decide to take a touch of him and just place it in just to annoy him he was getting a bit lippy on the headset so I had to kind of just show off well not show off but just put him in his face a little bit but he was doing that a lot he was bringing his keeper out so I kind of knew he was going to do something like that so I just decided to take a touch and pretty much from the, the kick off again I have Pato who feeds it out to Hulk 
he's got a lot of space here. I, I was thinking of chipping the keeper, but then I seen him going back, so I just kind of chipped it across the face of the goal and falls to Robinho to make it. I think it was for three one. Was it three for three one or four one? I think that's it. That was pretty much game set and match. Which that this was guaranteeing me place into Division Two, but uh, for some reason or another, I'm going to show it here. It shows I have fourteen points. But when I went out with this, it said that I had won the title. And I checked it afterwards. You can see there, there you go. I won the Division 3 title, even though I didn't actually... Even though I didn't have enough points to win it. But uh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to argue. So uh, until later, guys, I'll take it. I'll talk to you again. Take it easy, guys. Good luck. See ya.